Hey, it's Chris Texera. Let's play another game of the Seafarers of Catan. Looks like we got a three-player match here, heading for new shores. All right. Hmm, where to go? Ooh, look at that ten for eight, man. That's pretty juicy, huh? Um, man, there's no weed on this board. Look at that, none. Ah, uh, man. Okay. Um. What do we want to do because of that? No wheat. I think we want to go here. There should be ample opportunity to get some wood, brick, sheep places somewhere else. Or even even some stone. That's pretty juicy. Um, I was like being kind of close to that. But yeah, we need the wheat. <clears throat> so we're going to take that. We will... Really, I think this would get taken. We're going to go this way. Maybe get to that three to one port. <clears throat> I don't mind having more sheep um, in this kind of game. But that wheat's very important. Um, let's see what everyone else decides to do. I would not be surprised if, if this guy seconds here as an example on the sheep port. We will see. I mean, I would kind of love to get maybe this 843 over here. Yeah, well, he got it. <laughs> well, not a surprise. Not a surprise. Well, let's see if he gets any sheep. Um, where does he decide to go? He needs the wood, so he's probably going to go over here. There, maybe? Yeah, okay. The 356 spot. What's this two? This is until... This is a 14-point game, and this is two victory points. I made that mistake last game, so I can't do math. And it cost me just one victory point on the other game. That's why you had to read the rules. Um, I just glanced over the rules last time. That was my bad. So that's an example of me screwing up. I would have won if uh, I had read the rules. But I did not. Okay. So what do we got here? So they don't have any of that, which is fine with me. All right. So that's good. All right. Um, we're in pretty good position, I think, since we're going to be really the only person running around with a lot of the resources that we need. We're going to go right here, which will effectively block them. Now, we do have a decision here. I think we're going to go south. I think it makes the most sense. We can cut them off. and We'll get our starter road, which will be important. That brick's very nice. Um, we are going to go to, do we want to go here? There for, I think we should go here. Let's secure the port, secure that position. Since it is going to be a little hard to get that three, but at least we have access to everything. Unlike Brown, who doesn't have access to that wheat. Um, but we're going to see here that might come and attack us here. Even though if he does attack us, all he's going to get is something he doesn't really need. He might go for the ship too. That could be a possibility. See what he does. I'd probably stick it on our, our combined three over there. He went to the nine. Okay. And that's also perfectly fine. Didn't rob for me, though. That was nice. But that does take us out of the wheat. That actually might be very good for him. Well, actually, no. No one has wheat. So he's not getting it no matter what. Yeah, no one has wheat. So he's got to pay attention because no one has it. <laughs> If he's trying to rob from it, he's just doing a very poor job of paying attention to the board. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see here. No one has wheat, my friend. <laughs> so you're going to be offering trades for nothing for a while. Um, pay attention. No one has it. Man, wouldn't this be nice? Another four. Hey, more brick. All right. Well, he can probably actually trade for it now. And good. He went south, so which is what we need. Hopefully it's a seven. We can move this thing. It's a six. That does help. But again, no one has anything we particularly want. He's got brick. We don't need that. We're really rooting for a three. Or another seven. A two. Oh. Well, there's some wheat, and I don't think he's going to want to trade that. 
And if he did, I don't think he's going to want a bunch of bricks for it. So, yeah, I, I don't, again, don't see that happening, my friend. Why would he want to give you a bunch of a bunch of wheat for a bunch of bricks? It's just not going to happen. Four for one. What a surprise. Okay. And they didn't do anything. So he needs two wood, it looks like. Eleven. Nothing there. Oh, we need to move this thing off of our nine. Another six. So again, not much going on. We're passing again. Ten. More sheep. Okay. So one thing we could do um, as an emergency, and we might well do this, though I'm a little weary, uh, would be to actually build the emergency road here to block Brown from going to our three-for-one port. That very well could be what we have to do here. Though he did just buy a card with that wheat, which was actually kind of helpful. Um, because, again, it kind of takes the onus off us a little bit. So let's see what we got here. Three. Hey, we got something. Let me see if I can't get a sheep for a brick. Anybody? We got it. And that is great. All right. We got our thing. We're going to be able to port, which is really all we wanted. We get our three-for-one port. We are in business, my friends. And we're actually closer to that gold mine than any of these guys. Now, of course, we still can't really get there very efficiently. So that is going to be something. Um, without that wheat, it's going to be a little slow. I, I th Oh, this could be good. Where is this going? Probably put it on the ship, right? Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I'm I'm actually okay with that. I'd actually prefer that. Again, you know, what good is it to me if I don't have wheat? So stones weren't really doing much for me anyway. So now I think he's our focus more than anything. Um, and again, we're just going to keep passing here. Um, Red is in a good position, though. Now, with, now that he's got that 10-11 uh, going on, all that wood with all that sheep, I mean, hmm, we got to watch out. Because all he needs to do is basically get to these two settlements, and he's, he's in business. Um, so yeah, we do want to be weary here. Um, try to stop him as much as we can. Which is probably going to mean going after this sheep spot more than anything. He's buying cards. So let's see what happens here. Five. Five is not helpful. My rolls. I need some rolls. Eight. Ugh. Locked again. That's okay. Going to be like that sometimes. Going to be like that. Can't help it. Six. All right. We got more sheepies. At least that would get us another sh ship, potentially. I just don't like ponying up all that money just for, like, one ship. But you know, if we can get to that spot. All right. More, more sheep. Man, that would have been nice. Oh, there he goes. Okay. So we roll a seven. Of course we're not rolling a seven. What do we want to do with this? Um, anybody want a sheep? No. Hmm. I'm thinking we do need to do that. Let's pony up. Let's build our own competing ship. <clears throat> you know, even if we don't get to this spot, I'm actually okay with us getting here. To this four or five. That's not the end of the world, even if he does beat us. Um, ooh. Ooh, nice. Oh, we got a we got a favor from Brown. 
That is very nice for us. We like that. All right, there's another ship. He's going to have another ship, too. Ooh, he got the settlement. Okay, and that's okay. Because, again, I'm actually okay with that 4-5 spot. That's not the end of the world. And we got wheat. So we're going to trade for another ship. Might as well. We'll get to this 4-5. Let's see where this goes. Um, I, I'd put it right there if I was going to do this. Put it on that. No, it's not the right spot. You got to move this. That's okay. It was a little silly by Brown, but that's okay. And, you know, it's something. Brown's getting there. There's this lovely area up here, too. Something to look for. Now let's see where this is going. Probably going on this six. Yep. Robin from Brown. Okay. 12. Does this no help? We are passing. So yeah, red's in a very strong position, right? Um, the only thing they don't have, bummer, is ore. But they do have this, which again is pretty strong. And they have the best opportunity to expand to this 4108, which if they get there, it's probably game over. So not great. Not great. Um, we've been a little unlucky in some of our rules here. I think this three is really killing us. If only we had put it maybe here, but then we wouldn't have gotten any brick. Oh, well, hey, speak of the devil. Getting this 4-5 will be a big deal once we can get that. So, oof. Don't like that. Four. All right. Still holding. We really, really, really need some sh some sheep. Seven. Good. Go get that six. Come on. Get the six. There you go. Good roll. Good thinking. That's what they need to do. Put it on that six. Leave it there. Then move this one. Because <laughs> again, if they're not paying attention, they got to move it here. So let's see. Seven. So we're not going to rob from him because it's more important that this is moved and we prevent our red friend from expanding south. That's what we're doing. We're playing the smart, even though it didn't give us a card. It doesn't make any sense to me to rob from Brown at this point, because Brown is not in the best position to win. Don't target people. You don't need to target. Right? There's just no reason for it. A two for one trade actually wasn't too bad, but again, I just I want to keep my wheat. It's more important to me. Ooh, it would. So they've got two wood, which is something. Seven. We're going to happily take one of those wood. Do it again. Maybe Brown wants it. We did get it. Look at that. Nice. Love that. All right. There we go. Now we're in business. So again, we could potentially get down here and beat red because red doesn't have much in the way of stuff. Now, I do wonder if he's going to target me. We'll see. Certainly a possibility. I've got the two wheat spots, which is really important. I'd just keep moving that ship if I were him. But we'll see. We will see. Let's see what happens. Yeah, but this is an interesting decision for Brown. All right, he went to the wheat, affecting us both. Robbing from me, probably. Yep, there you go.
makes sense. Two bricks for a wood. Done. We're going to take that deal. So I don't want him to have it. <laughs> That's fine. Get to the island, my friend. Get over there. And again, I'm, I'm fine with that. Like, he will have everything. This will make him a little scarier once he's over here, but... Seven. Let's see. It's definitely going to be that nine move. And six is moved, robbing from me, so he's going to get a brick, which is unfortunate because he's going to get a road. Yep. And he's got the longest road, which is a little bit of a bummer. That's okay. Now, that is helpful. Um, we are going to rob from this guy. I'm going to get my stone back. Mostly because he's not going over here just yet. This guy's got some work to do before he gets his uh, his thing. And he does have the two cards, or the two knights, which is something. It's going to take him longer to do anything red. So even though he needs to get his yellow, I will move this back over here once that happens. Oh, we blocked him. That's good. All right. I'm kind of open for a seven again, actually. I would love to. Yeah, we did. Nice. And we're going right back here. Sorry, bud. Boom. Steal that wheat, which you desperately needed. We'll take that. Slowing down the coof. That is the plan. Another seven. It's going right back on that nine, I bet. Might move the ship again. I think he's going to move it to the nine. He did move the ship. But what good does that do? What good does that do? See, that's, that's a player who doesn't understand the game, right? Moving it there doesn't do anything, right? Which is a bummer. It's like, don't do that. That's just not what you need to do. It's like, put it here. Like, it doesn't do any good. Um, anyone need a wheat? Sure he does. Oh, two for one. That is the good news about playing with somebody who doesn't necessarily know what they're doing that can certainly give you some good stuff. So we're going to try to get here. It's a race. We're racing. We've got the longest road all of a sudden, which I actually kind of wish we didn't have. Um, we're in a race. So let's see if we can get it. Nine, not helpful. They've got like two brick. Doesn't need that. Yeah, this is gonna be is gonna be a bit of a dog fight. Even if even if we don't get here, could go there. So it's not the end of the world. Um, but I would prefer this. Getting that eight would be a huge help. Yeah, he really needs a brick. See, this is it just traded me. Did he trade me two bricks? Like, what are you doing? Like, you're I don't know what he's doing. Well, that's okay. Uh, not our problem for him making strange trades, causing all kinds of problems. Let's see what happens. Ten. Ten. Not the roll we were hoping for, because that might actually get him what he needs, and it does. Yeah, shoot. That's okay. That happens. Not going to win all of them. At least we blocked him there. Yeah. So we'll get to that eight, which is okay. I'm okay with that. Well, at least there's an obvious place for this uh, robber to go. <laughs> like, either on the 10, I don't think the eight, because it's just one. Ah, I see. I. I put it on the 10 there. I just think it makes more sense to put it on the 10. And again, I move this stupid thing over here. 
which for the life of me, I don't understand why that person just doesn't see the, the logic of doing. Now, the good news is he also needs to build cities now, which he does not have. Um, we're going to go here. And do we want to buy a card? Shoot. Yes, we're going to buy a card. Hopefully it's something really good tonight. That's fine. Can help us keep bothering our red friend, who is really who we have to corral at this point. Ah, shoot. Not good. He's going to get two stones. Yep, there they go. It's okay. Hopefully it's just not another 10. See, put another freaking 10 if you're going to do it. Four. Doesn't help him that much, which is good. All right, let's roll six. He's got the two. We're going to play our knight. We're going to put it right back on this 10. Got a wood. Not quite what we were hoping for. But you know what? It's going to be enough because we're going to be able to get this, which is good. Now, here's a question. Do we go there instead? Um, that is a good question. Now, I think this is actually better because we get the double production. Do get anything here, though. Yeah, we're going to go here. It makes more sense with the double production on the eight and the two ten spots. It just makes more sense. Now, robbing him was a little bit of a bummer. And by the way, it also helps because now he's not going to get this spot, most likely. So we keep our production going while at the same time. And I don't know how helpful this is going to be. Let's see what happens. He might rob for me. Nope, not robbing for me. Again, those gold mines, so scary, and everyone's scared of them. Now we've all got the same problem. So we all need cities. And I'm in the best position to build one, which is good. Now that is unfortunate. He's going to get a city. City. Man, we've had unlucky just moving these things around. Yep, there it is. Boom. Okay, not good. Not good at all. So we're definitely in trouble here. Let's go that way. Interesting. Definitely in trouble. So, we're going to convert to wheat. We need that city. So, let's see. Hopefully, we can get it soon because, man, do we need it. Three isn't terrible. Yeah, I'm wondering if maybe we could. So what do we need to win, right? We need three more points from here. If we could get there, I don't think we're going to be able to really. Done. Let's see what they do. I don't have that. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna kind of become a race to see. And again, I think I think red just wins because this oh, another freaking ten. My goodness, those tens are just killing us more so than the eights right now. It's gonna try to build a road, build a settlement. All right, well, at least at least he needs another city, and he's not going here for whatever reason. So that is somewhat helpful. That will get us what we need. So we're going to take that. And we're going to build it here. So that's good. 
we are gonna hang. Need a dead city. The seven. Hopefully, oh man, this guy again. This is gonna be tight. Um, I, I again, I think they get it on us. Um, we need to, if we can, build some more roads or some more ships because they're coming for this road, right? I mean, it's a very precarious road as it is. That is going to help, but dicey right now. Very, very dicey. Don't exactly have a lot going for us on this road right now. 11, not helpful. At least he doesn't really have anything. You might want to consider moving the ship here, too. That could be something. I wonder if we can get a card. Let's see, can we get this? Maybe Brown will do that. Nope. Oh. All right. Passing, let's see what happens. Four. Four is good for us. We like fours. We can expand our road, build another settlement with one more, or with an eight or something. Have some possibilities. Oh, they're also going for the road, which honestly isn't a bad idea for them. Six, that's not bad. Don't like them having sixes. They can just build whatever they want. There they go. Now let's see if they screw this up. They might go this way. And if they do, that's a mistake. So we'll have to see what they do. Let's see if we can't pull this trade off. Brown might do it. If he's got it, yep. That's what we needed. This is just a good example of trading well. All right, road settlement. And that helps us out because it also helps us build some more ships, um, which could be nice. Now, it also helps us because an eight becomes very powerful all of a sudden. Now, let's see what they do. Probably going on this aid, unfortunately. Um, I would still move this damn ship. Now, the ship, you idiot. What are you doing? Oh, God. Like, why there? Like, I, I don't understand. Ugh. What a terrible decision. Like, I mean, what are you doing? Ugh. Unbelievably bad. 11. 11 is not helpful. Wow. I just, I am astounded. I mean, at least put it on the 8. Like, there he goes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Now, this is interesting. So their road is actually going to get disconnected unless they go this way, which they might do. My cat is in the way here. Yeah, we're holding with this road right now as well. Okay, eight, eight is good. We're going to go get a wheat. <sighs> Man. Getting close here. Two sheep for... Uh, it's not a terrible deal. I just don't really need it. Right, bud? Jasper. Jasper knows. Jasper understands. Good boy. Don't need that either. And you better not trade with him. Oh, man. At this point, don't trade with anybody. Like, what are you doing? Very precarious here. We need roads. We need cities. Um, again, I, I, I'm hope, hoping this guy's just dumb and doesn't go straight here. 
which would kind of get him the road. I'm okay if Brown gets the road. I think that's swell. He can get the road all he wants. Um, I'm fine with that. I'm not fearing Brown so much. So as far as I'm concerned, go crazy. Um, we do want to leave this open for ships. Four. Where does that get us? More woods. One, two, three. Yeah, we could have gone that way. Um, we are... You know, we have the opportunity to build a city. We're going to do that. I'm going to take the city. Well, maybe... What can I get for this? Let's see if anybody has it. I don't think anyone does, but maybe Enduru does. No. Do we want to do that? Let me think about this. We could probably solidify the city for or the road, but I would mean giving up all these stones. Uh, it's a key moment in the game here. Very key moment. Um, connect the road. That would give us 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Probably is worth it. Yeah, we're going to do that. That's just the road back. Now, it's a little debatable, but 1-8 gets us another city anyway. That 10 slows down them. And potentially, we could come in here and block red, uh, which could also actually be kind of a fun and crazy thing for us to do. So we'll see. Now, again, that's not helping. With the way they did this, going to be interesting to see because they they can't move this ship right now which is hilarious um because this ship can't go well it could, could go there i take it back but yeah we need to be need to be careful here but one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen Isn't that 13 okay let's see what they decide to do like this could be the game but the way they decided to do this is a little strange. All they have to do is get here, and they win the game, pretty much. And they're not doing it. All right, he's going to try to connect them, which, you know, isn't a bad idea. So we have to win the game pretty soon here, and that's not helping. But it does help a little bit. So one, two, three, shoot. Now let's do this. This has to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, man, this is tough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We're at 12 roads. If he connects it, we're dead. Um, it's better to build it, move it here, even if it means he doesn't get it, uh, just because uh, victory point's not unhelpful. That's important because if he builds one road or one ship, which he can't do now to get there, would be over. He needs to build roads, but then he needs to move the ship, right? So we could really put him in a bad spot, potentially. It's very precarious. Um, so we'll see. I don't like it. I really don't like it for a lot of reasons. Oh, uh, no. Well, that should do it, actually. Yep. And that's going to be the game. That's okay. Not going to win them all. There's the road. Should be the game. Oh, not the game. Still alive. Look at that. All right. Well, now it doesn't really matter where we go. Um, 
Okay, so we are still alive. Eight. Eight is good. We still need... We need to keep building roads or ships. So let's do that instead. I mean, it's going to be close here. Ah, oh, he got the army. Where's it going? Uh, okay, that's fine. I probably put that one, two, three, four, five. Okay, he needs to build a city. At least that's good. Four. Hey, that doesn't help him build a city, which is good. See what he does. See, got it? He doesn't have it. Find a card, though. Nope, didn't do it. Okay. Still hanging around. We are still hanging around. All right, so let's build another road. And let's build a little ship. So now we took this back. We're increasing what needs to be done. Um, I don't know if take, buying a card helps us as much as waiting for the eight. You know, but you never know. Maybe it'll get us a victory point. Let's just do it and see what happens. A knight. Knights aren't bad because, again, we can keep taking from red. Slow him down. Ten is actually a great roll for me, but it's also really good for, for him. But, again... Red has to do two things now, right? They have to build two roads. It looks like they're focusing more on the road, which is something, right? Um, no. We're, we're basically in a race to build roads. It's like stupid, but that's what we're doing. Kind of went for a seven here. Two... Not helpful. That's probably the game. So I think I think he has what he needs to build two ships or two roads. Yeah. Then all he needs to do is build some roads. It's very precarious. But can he do it? He's going that route. Okay. So he's not even going to worry about it, which honestly probably makes more sense. Um, let's roll. We're going to rob from this 10. Steal from him. Play this. Three. Three's not terrible. What it's going to do is it is going to basically shore up the road for us, which actually is important because um, it will guarantee our second place finish at a minimum, which ain't, which ain't nothing. Right. That's going to help as well. Anything we can do to slow Zakumf down. Yeah. I mean, it's not looking good, but you know, you never know. Weird stuff happens at Catan all the time. Like four, that's okay. Don't think that's going to get him what he needs. Could It could, though. Nope. Didn't get it what he needs. Let's roll a 7. 11. Now, that might very well do it for him. We're going to build another row just for safety. Because we're basically playing for a second now. Um, hopefully a 7 rolls here. 6. So that will definitely do it. He could actually overtake me on the road, potentially. So we need to be a little weary about that. In fact, I bet he can. Uh, probably good we built that extra road, to tell you the truth. Um, hoping for a seven. Three, not good. Yeah, he, he can overtake us for the road now, if he wants. Let's see what he does. Uh, if he wants to be mean, get more points, but he's not. 
that's so interesting. I actually probably would have done the road because the road would have gotten just as many points. It actually would have decreased our score. Um, but whatever, we only lost three there. Not too bad. Yeah, once once he got to this 10-8, our opponent wasn't doing us, our other opponent wasn't doing us any favors with his very terrible blocking. I, sheesh. I mean, 10-27, not surprised. 10-61, he played very well. Um, yeah. I mean, that blocking by the Brown player was terrible. Like, that was not good. They they really botched it. Uh, that can be frustrating, playing Catan with people just who aren't necessarily good at this. He was robbed 15 times. You know, kudos winning, being robbed 15 times. You know, it was mostly, mostly me. Um, like, this player, yeah, it's like, got to do better, man. Got to do better. 86 rounds, 19 dev cards, a lot of sevens that game. But yeah, we lost that basically on those tens. That was pretty nasty, those getting rolled with that gold mine he had. And the fact that our opponent there just kept like blocking stuff nonsensically, except especially this the ship. Moving it there, just that cost us. Right? He should have put the ship down here, which is really I really don't understand why they moved it. But that's okay. That's the game. That's how good time goes sometimes. Anyway, it was fun. And uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, subscribe again if you would uh, like to keep following my content. So thanks so much.